Jubal's Dirty Little Secret. Hello. Yes. Hey, you have a dirty little secret? I do. Sweet. What is it? Okay, so a couple years ago, my brother-in-law used to live with here. Mm-hmm. So he used to live with us, and I hated him so, so much <laughs> that like, when he would go to work, because he would sleep in the living room, right? So his he would be he would only share just one restroom, which is you know we wouldn't go in there. So when he would go to work, I would take him to the restroom and I would grab his charger, his phone charger, and I would put Clorox in it. I would put it like dip it in water, what? and then when he came home, he charged it and he connected it to his phone. And then as soon as he dis- he connected it, like his phone shut off. <laughs> so he was so worried. And he's like, "What am I gonna do? Like my phone?" And then I don't think it's the charger. He started going crazy, but then his phone stopped working. And I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? I didn't think it was going to do all that. So then he went the next day, got himself a new phone, and I'm like, I don't care. I hate him that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. But that's what he gets for being a jerk. <laughs> I didn't know you could break a phone by dipping the charger in Clorox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I really didn't think so either, but I'm like, oh my God, he's going to connect it back to his phone. And then when he did it, I'm like, oh God, what did I do? I didn't really think I was going to But anyways, he just that's so funny. That's funny. The creative levels of evil is so impressive. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for that's my dirty little secret. Thank you for telling us your dirty thank little you. secret. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? You have a dirty little secret. I sure do. Sweet. What is it? Um, well, I accidentally got engaged and married uh, 10 years ago. Ooh. What? Um, I had an accidental engagement, too, but I want to hear about yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I was dating my now husband for about four years, and we went out for Valentine's Day, and he pulled out a ring box. And I immediately said yes, because I I figured he's proposing to me it's Valentine's Day. Um, Long story short, he had purchased this beautiful ring from an antique store. And it was actually supposed to be an anniversary gift because we had been dating for four years. (laughs) (laughs) But I immediately said yes. And I called my mom. The whole restaurant was in on it. You know, congratulations. And they sent over desserts. After a couple of weeks, though, I realized he didn't actually mean to propose to me. (laughs) He just kind of rolled with it. But I will tell you, we are happily married 10 years now, and it's the best mistake he's ever made. That's great. (laughs) I'm glad it worked out. That's awesome. (laughs) Anytime he gets down to tie his shoelace. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's funny. Well, congratulations on it working. Mine didn't work the same at all. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's I'm fine. It's, it's better off that way. But I should have let her know that I wasn't meaning that I wanted to marry her. What happened with me was I was literally falling asleep and I was dating this girl for a long time and I was like, if we date longer, we should think about getting married someday. That's what I said. We were just talking. But then she turned to me and started crying and said yes. <laughs> and then she called her mom and then threw the phone at me and I was talking to her mom all of a sudden. I was like half asleep still. And I was like, yeah, oh. super excited. <laughs> the moral of this story oh, is <laughs> ladies just say yes and oh, they don't say no. no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for your dirty little oh, secret. Bye. Sure. Thanks, guys. Yep. Bye. What's your dirty little secret?